Hey guys, what's up? It's Dreadscape Gaming here, and today on the channel, we're back for more Amanda the Adventurer. We're gonna see if we can progress to get the true ending. So, last time we left off, we got the Hollow End ending, which instructed us that we needed to cut the doll's head off. In order to do that, we're gonna have to put in the alphabetical code here once again guts that way we can get access not only to the tape but the scissors that we need because unfortunately in the last run the doll disappeared which i think is intentional by design they want you to play through the game multiple times to see different endings different paths and various other secrets so we put in guts so let's open it up this time around we're not going to play the tape we're going to pick up this pair of scissors and we're going to do some mutilation on a poor little raggedy and doll. I feel pretty bad doing this to this poor little thing because it's not her fault, but uh, we're gonna have to give you a little snip here, honey. Oh my God, she screamed. That was not what I was expecting. Okay, let's put the scissors down. What are these? Batteries? Okay, I know from the last time that we were playing that the batteries definitely go in here because he was not paired up. So finally, Blabop will be able to talk. What's up, Blabop? Oh, he's such a cutie. Look at that. He's very nice and polite. Probably the most polite thing. We murdered a doll just so he may live. That's kind of creepy and it's on, right? All right. All right, let's play the original tape here. Uh, because we need to try to find some evidence. What's up, Amanda? What's up, Wooly? They're going to bake the same cake. Or pie, I guess, technically. What's our favorite pie? Hmm. Good question. Last time we said basically lamb. Let's say mud in this time. Ah, uh, poor Wooly. I like torturing Wooly in these things. Alright. We're gonna bake the apple pie. So I guess we're gonna have to progress through the regular line of tapes first. Okay, we're gonna use obviously a knife to cut that. We're not gonna pause because that'll take us to a different type of ending, the hollow end. We don't want to get that. So we're just gonna play out the tape fully here. Even though I definitely do not recommend that children use knives or actually play with the stove. That is definitely not safe. We're with Wooly on this one. All right, all right, let's... We still didn't see how she cut the apple, though. Probably had Wooly do it for her. All right, so we need the sugar. Since the last playthrough, we know where it is. Sugar is definitely in the pantry. So let's select pantry here. I am playing on the Nintendo Switch version, for those of you who are wondering. Came out a couple weeks ago. Alright, so they baked their pie. And nobody got burned that time around. Alright. Oh, they didn't bake it yet. They gotta put it in the oven. This is gonna go terrible. Yeah, listen to Wooly here, man, though. He is 100% right here. Oh. That's a little foreshadowing, isn't it? She doesn't know where her parents are. Alright, so we gotta remember, we're gonna preheat the oven to 425. Okay, then we're gonna put a apple directly into a pan because that clearly makes an apple pie. No, it doesn't. Clearly, we need flour and other things, but uh, I guess because it's a children's TV show, it's not supposed to make sense or give us great culinary advice for that matter. All right, so we managed to get through that tape. Uh, let's bake the pie so we can get to the second tape. I think there's some evidence for Blabop that I need to play that tape. So. Let's see, what was it again? We're gonna preheat the oven to 425, was it? Oh, I overshot the dial here. So we're gonna have to run through the rotation again, 425. And she said, what was it, 40 minutes, if I'm not mistaken? Let's open it. Okay, let's get an apple. Because this is clearly how you bake an apple pie. Let's throw the apple into the pan and put it in there. All right, and instead of an apple pie, we get an inner tape. I think this is the one that had a numerical code. And I think I have to pause probably there to be able to put in the numbers into blab up so let's see here i think it was when we we're in the card shop if i'm not mistaken Hi, friends. what's I'm up amanda, amanda. And I'm Wooly. what's up Wooly? What do you like best about your neighborhood? oh i already answered this the best thing about my neighborhood are all the bars that are around because you know you get to get your drink on I like that there are all right so many friends in my she's clearly not paying attention to us still she's so self-centered as a character is she not First. Alright, so we have to go to the 24-7 convenience you know store. store well, I mean, yeah, it's right there, right in front Good of you. Job. Yay, what positive reinforcement, that? right? Okay, what so we're in the store. Pause that, pause that. So that's the code, 1503-21, I believe it was, or 1503-23. Alright, let's put in the numbers. Oh, well, that's definitely not the number. 
Let's just hit a whole bunch of fours to clear this. Can I not clear it that way? Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, the controls are a little bit odd for controlling a one. Doesn't help that our joy cons are drifting low. One, five, zero, three, and then I think it was a two, and then I think it was five, right? Or was it one? Yeah, I think this is the code. Let's put it in there. Let's enter and see what he tells us. Let me make sure I hit the right button there. Send my condolences to Kate. That's her aunt. I guess her aunt passed away. I guess that's foreshadowing now. Man, so she left us the house and everything. With the creepy tapes and the creeping demon tape? Right now. Oh. That got dark real fast. Uh, if I remember correctly, Amanda was very fond of Kate, according to the lore that I was reading. Alright, so we have a birthday cake that randomly spawned here. Um, let's see, what is on the code here? 081821. Could this possibly be a clue that we have to type into Blabot? Seems almost certainly this is going to be the case here. Why else would we get a numerical code? So, well, let me double check that numerical code though, because I kind of have a little bit of a potato brain sometimes. So I will forget the code. Okay. So let's go in here. Hey, Blabop. Let's uh, put in the code. Zero. It was zero. zero. Nope, definitely not two zeros. All right, let's try it again. It was zero, eight, right? Nope. This Joy-Con so drifty. Zero, eight. Okay, what's the next one? Uh, I don't remember the rest of the code. See, I told you I was going to potato burn it. Zero, eight, one, eight, two. One, I believe. All right, so let's put in eight. Let's put in the two. And then let's put in the one, and hopefully we'll get our next clue here. All right, let's hit enter. 325, 30 minutes. All right, so that's got to be the oven. So let's look for the oven. Can we pick up the cake? No, we can't. So I guess we're just putting the oven on for that time. 325 for 30 minutes if i'm not mistaken and we should get something for our troubles what is that it's a candle okay so this probably goes on the cake let's put it on the cake okay cool and let's pick up this no what is this oh my god they're gonna make us do math that's like my worst subject ever in school okay so what we got here one times four five minus one because i'm assuming the candles represent the number one uh, 1 times 1 plus 1, 1 divided by 1. Oh my goodness. Why do we gotta do math for this? Well, it's a numerical puzzle, clearly, so... Let's see here. What are numbers do we got? 1 times 1 plus 1, if I'm looking at that correctly. And then 1 minus 1. Well, it's pretty obvious what this is gonna be. 1 times 4 will obviously give you the same result 5 minus 1 will give you 4 1 times 1 would 2 plus 1 would be 3 1 divided by 1 would just be the 0 if I remember correctly okay I think I got it chat so let's put in the numbers here so we're gonna put in 4 I have to double check my math here make sure that's correct here all right, so this is going to be 5 minus 1. That should be a nerf 4. Then that one should be 3, 2. Okay. Let's drop this note back down. I got it now. I solved it. Big brain dread. Coming at ya. All right, 4, 4. The next number is 2. The next number is 1. The next number is going to be i already forgot what i was computing <laughs> okay i believe this one should be okay let's go back it's going to be free and then it's going to be a zero and then we're going to hit enter all right where are we good what's in the card is on the cake what the hell is that supposed to mean well there's two candles and then there's... So I guess if we replace the candles with the number 2, and then do this mathematical equation again, we should be able to get the answer 
to what we have to put into blab pop i'm assuming that's the case because what else could it mean because i'm not going to start counting like the strawberries and the cream and everything that wouldn't make a whole bunch of sense okay so let's check here just in case if it's the same numerical code we have to put in again but i'm pretty sure it's going to be just inverted numbers let's just double check here first okay so it doesn't work when we put in the same thing so we're definitely going to have to replace the number one with the number two as for the candles that's uh that's uh quite a lot of math here chat but i think we can do it let's look at this one in case it's anything no okay so it's definitely the math of math okay so we got the answer it's eight three we had to add up the twos instead this time so it's eight three Give me one second. Next one should be five. Then from there, I'm trying to do this math actually off on the side here. We never figured I would have to do this right now. One. Okay, the next one's six. And then the last one's one. And if we put this in, that is the mathematical equation for the card. C, C, D, C, F, E. Okay, so clearly we're going to have to play that on that piano over there i really don't want to have to put that code in so i gotta remember it was happy birthday so c c d c f e if i remember c c let's see it was um d right what's the next one it was e c f e okay so it plays happy birthday and we get another candle so let's put this candle on the cake and hopefully we'll go get our vhs tape Finally, after so long, it's been a thousand years. Oh my god, they're singing creepy to us. Uh, well, that's gonna give me nightmares for days on end right now. Ooh, creepy, creepy. All right, we got our tape. Well, obviously, we're gonna have to play this one. Hopefully, things are not about to go sideways here. Because the last time that we did play that, it was a very, very unfortunate incident for us. We've met many gruesome fates. Let's play the tape and see what happens. All right. Oh, it's Willie. What's up, Willie? Yeah, I, I trust you, Willie. Uh, let's say yes. Uh oh. I told you, Amanda could not be trusted in this game. Uh oh. Willie did not have an accident. You hit Willie. You hurt Willie. Yes. She's like, ooh, off her rocker. Uh, what's happening, Willie? I just uh. Uh oh. Willie's not confused. We have to know what well, is wrong. the what thing that's wrong with Willy is happy? his leg. It's not his brain. It's not his tummy. It's his leg. Let's click his leg. Let me go down here a minute. I mean, Willy could be the problem himself, Willy's right? Head is broken, Willy's head is clearly not broken. Uh-oh. Looks like she's going to do some psychological medication. reprogramming. This yeah, is going to go sideways very fast. Uh, Willy, if I were you, I wouldn't hey, drink that, buddy it's boy. All yeah, don't. Ten. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. Oh my god. Did she just... She sedated Wooly? Holy crap. She is one psycho bitch. Oh my god. What's she doing? Oh my god. She's got a whole bunch of freaking medical equipment there. Oh no. She's got what? Saw a hammer and forceps? No, that's not gonna make Wooly survive. Uh oh. She wants us to pick the what? I don't want to pick any of these. I don't want to harm Wooly. Really yeah, that. that would be very, very bad if you used that. that looks hard to use, yeah, maybe you I shouldn't use that. medical equipment. No, no. I assure you, ma'am. You should not use medical equipment. Only train professionals. <laughs> I tricked you. Oh, I'm oh. To use all three. Oh, God. This is going to go so bad for Wooly. You might want to shield your eyes, guys. Things are about to get really rough. Oh, poor Wooly. Oh, no. I mean, we don't have a choice in this matter. We ever help Amanda? If we don't help her, she's probably going to kill us. If we pick Wooly, she's definitely going to kill us. We have no choice. We're going to have to help her. Oh, boy. I'm so sorry, Wooly. I'm so sorry, Wooly. Oh, no. Oh, no, Wooly. Wooly. He's all right, right? Tell me he's all right. I don't think I can keep on with this game right now. Our boy Wooly just met a gruesome fate. All right, we got another tape. Let's play this. We got to see what happens. I'm Wooly. Oh my god, did she... Hey. She didn't kill him. She lobotomized Don't him? Treat. Okay, wait. What was that? 
check the cellar for a treat. This better not be like a bloody treat. She better not pop out of the cellar right now. I'll give her fisticuffs, I tell you guys. Okay, it's in her tape. All right, all right. I'm a little on edge. You know, poor Wooly, we don't want that to happen to us. All right, let's go play this tape. Hopefully, she's not trying to trick us right now. All right, let's play it. Let's see what happens. I'm allergic to apples. Oh, poor Wooly, lobotomized. How many chairs? How many chairs? How many mushrooms? How many mushrooms? How many fruits? How many, How many lights? I'm assuming we're probably going to have to play that into Blabop. So I'm going to do the mathematical computations and I'll be be right back real second. That way you guys don't have to struggle as I count. All right. So we put in the numerical code and she actually gave us the answer here. So we need it was two, eight and then six, two. Those are the amount of furniture. So when you put it in, it will give you another tape and apparently a bucket. All right, so let's put this in and see what happens here, my friends. 401258. Uh, that's definitely going into Blab Op, right? So f oh, I hit the wrong number here. I got sticky fingers, I guess you could say. So let's go 401 2. I don't remember the rest. Let's play the tape again. We don't have much time. Poor Willy. And Willy's like, we don't have much time. Poor Willy. Uh, let's pick up the tape again. We're going to definitely have to play it again. Oh, Butterfingers. I'm getting so nervous just trying to figure out what's going to happen here. All right, what's the number again? 401258. Okay, so 258. 258. 258. Got to remember that. Okay, two we had already. Let's put the five... And let's put the 8 in. And we should be good to go. The treasure is in the chest. Okay. Need the key to his heart. It's not what's in the outside. It's what you keep on the inside. So he has the key? Well... Then what are we going to do? I have to get the key out of him. How are we going to get the key out of him? What thing we have is a bucket. Let me see here. What does this say? Nothing. All right. So we have a bucket. My guess is maybe if we fill it with water and we electrocute him, that might be the answer here. But let's fill this bucket. Okay, it does fill with the water. Because if not, we were probably going to be stuck on a puzzle for quite a while. Let's pick it up. Man, I'm so sorry, Blabop. I mean, I wish there was a better way, but we have no choice, my friend. I feel so bad. In this installment, we murdered a dolly to get some batteries to put it in Blabop. To then murder Blabop. That's just... That's so wrong. Are we the villain of this game? All right. Okay, that's a key, right? Okay, cool. That's the key to his heart. We can't play that there. So, he said the key to the chest was in him. This is the only chest left that hasn't been opened. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's in our tape. All right, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet Jesus. I think we're almost at the end here. Hopefully nothing goes wrong here. Okay, let's play this tape and see what happens. Hopefully Wooly's still alive. Poor Wooly. All right. Is there anything on this tape? So blank tape. This is how the room started. I don't like the way this is going. Oh God! Did you see that? Wooly's completely disappeared from the intro. She killed him. Hi. Hi, Amanda. Amanda. Are you really Amanda? She was kind of hesitating there. Yes. When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other, but not girlfriends and boyfriends. Okay. Remember that. That's wrong. All right. Look at She's Fox. drawing the murdered fox? That's not cool. Yeah, she is one crazy, crazy someone. bitch. Alright. Yes, I guess friends can share toys. Can share snacks. Friends can share snacks, I I'll suppose. Share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would She's you gonna like? share a snack with us? I hope this isn't laced with poison, because this will be the end of our playthrough, if that's the case. Um, well, the cookie looks kind of appetizing. Everything else kind of looks gross, Yum. right? Let's get the cookie. 
Yeah, you like chocolate cookies. Hmm. Can share other things too. Okay, what else do you want to share? They can share secrets. Share secrets? What's the secret? Can I share a secret with you? Well, if we tell you no, you'll probably murder us, so let's say yes. Are you sure? Yeah, That's I'm pretty true. sure. I don't want you to kill me, especially with those crazy eyes right now. Yep. Is it really okay? Yes, to I just share told you two times it was okay you? to share the secret. What's wrong with you, girl? Yes. I'm out there. Whoa. Somewhere. She's out there somewhere. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Whoa, what the hell? The TV's spazzing out. Ah, oh, crap. She's gonna kill us. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's look around. Alright, we have a brick. Um, I guess I'm gonna throw it. Okay. Holy crap. She was gonna go full Samara on us, like in the ring. That was not gonna be very good for us. Well, what's that? And the sun is shining. So was she inhabiting the TV or the tapes? And we see end credits. All right. So that was Amanda the Adventurer. We got the true ending here. Uh, this was available on the Nintendo Switch. Eight ninety nine. Um, what can I really say about the Nintendo Switch version of the game? I have seen some people play the PC version. I don't remember a whole bunch of it because it's kind of foggy. It was a long time ago. Um, personally. As far as the game's concerned, I think it's a really fun game. It's pretty short. I know a lot of people are going to complain about on the Nintendo Switch platform that you're not able to actually type in the answers. I've seen a lot of people actually even comment sections complaining about that. I think probably one of the reasons why they didn't put the keyboard in for this particular game is the fact that I saw this when streamers were playing it. They would type in a lot of naughty stuff. They would say very degen stuff, degenerate stuff, gross, you know very sexual type of things to kind of just see what Amanda would say. Uh, obviously on Nintendo Switch platform, Nintendo Switch is meant to be like an, you know, entertainment system for everybody. So they don't want like streamers then that are gonna stream this or make content for it, you know, typing in some dirty names. I saw somebody a long time ago that did that and A, it was not funny and B, it was just like witty. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's the reason why for the predetermined text. I wish there would be a little bit more RNG in terms of the predetermined text that you would get while you're playing through it, because I feel like sometimes the answers are very static and there's not a lot of variety that I've seen through playthroughs. Um, in terms of the story, uh, it leaves more questions than it does really us answers. Maybe because there's either DLC or a sequel coming out. I did see some sort of announcement on the Amanda the Adventurer um, Twitter account. That was like a trailer with Wooly, so I think what's probably going to happen is that either we're going to get DLC or a sequel, maybe answer more questions. From what I've been told, there are secret tapes that apparently are going to give us some lore. I'm not going to do the secret tape run right now, but apparently if you get all these secret tapes, which I'll do in the next run through, it will give you the true ending, so maybe we'll see a little bit more as to exactly what the entity Amanda is, whether it's a ghost whoever it's a spirit i don't know sometimes it feels like it was a creepy ai to me but I, I really don't have the answers right now um one theory that i have is that maybe kate our aunt didn't die and maybe kate is woolly the sheep perhaps that's one theory that i've come up with because i think maybe kate is woolly just because in some of the notes that we had and some of the documentation we were reading through while we were playing the game, it suggested that Amanda was very fond of Kate. Kate was like a librarian, apparently. So I'm assuming maybe somehow she was able to get Wooly into the universe. And that's why it's the only two of them, because Kate was basically like Amanda's best friend, at least in her viewpoint. But we don't know. Was Amanda a real person? Was Amanda an AI program? Was Amanda just some rogue cartoon CGI entity that decided to go all psycho bitch? There's also the question of what happened in the town. We don't really know what happened in the town because the town is empty. All we know is that Willie's like, can our friends come back? But what did Amanda do? Did she kill all of them? We know that she killed the fox because even though she said it was the bear trap that did it, clearly it was her. We saw her go psycho on Willie and perform what we're assuming is either a lobotomy that maybe even went wrong because he's not in the last scene of the game. I don't know. There's a lot, a lot of theories here. This is like one creepy pasta type of thing 
that just is rolled up into a video game. Uh, I am a little bummed out that it was a little short. I would have liked to have seen a little bit longer playthrough. The other thing, too, with this is that once you finish the game for all the way through, do you really have a reason to revisit it? Unless you forget all the things that you did already, you could probably speed through it. I could probably do a speed run of this now. Probably in, like, under an hour, based on everything that we have information-wise. But, that was Amanda the Adventure on the Nintendo Switch. On the next edition, we will search for the secret tapes and see the true ending of the game, which is the secret ending. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it, or is it? Let's see what happens if we say no to Amanda's secret. What happens? Do we get a different ending here? Let's see. Yeah. So we're going to select the cookie, and let's see what happens here. Oh. Okay, no. I don't want to know your secret. I thought you were different. She hits us with the girlfriend line? I thought you were different? Man, that's rough. What's that? A note? Let's pick it up. Can we pick this up? No, it just says get out. Wow. It is typical girlfriend-like actions here. Okay, so we'll go in there. And it starts the credits again. Okay, so that's what happens if you say no to Amanda. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, a like on this video is greatly appreciated. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, definitely consider doing so. As it helps the channel grow. And next time, secret tapes and the secret ending to Amanda the Adventure. Till next time, guys.